Gaming headsets can be pretty expensive. In fact, my favorite gaming headset costs over $300, which is generally out of your average gamer's budget. And mine, it was a review unit. Sometimes you just need a gaming oriented headset that won't break the bank. And I have one here for you today for under 20 bucks. So let's check it out. This is the Model G5 gaming headset from Afunta, or Afunta, I'm not really sure. It's designed to work with the PS4, Xbox 360, PC, and mobile devices, so it's pretty versatile. For this, it has your basic green and pink mic and headphone 3.5mm audio jacks, but in the box it also comes with a 4-pole splitter for the PS4 and mobile devices, and an Xbox 360 chat adapter. Afunta wanted to make sure that you could hook this headset to just about anything, when with a 16 ohm impedance for its 40mm drivers, you can do just about that. Taking a physical tour of the headset, we have just about as generic a design as possible, which is fine. What isn't fine, however, is the confusing use of both matte and glossy black plastic. While the glossy plastic should be avoided like the plague, you should at least commit to one or the other. Having both is just weird and the glossy plastic should be dropped immediately. The height adjustment is just plastic notches, but they feel surprisingly sturdy. The ear cups swivel ever so slightly. There's not a ton of swivel, but there is some and that's pretty good to have. The rubbery plastic for the ear cups and top band, which is a solid top band by the way, scream cheap. Put it on your head and it feels like you're wearing a toy. It feels cheap, but it doesn't hurt or feel bad per se, it just feels cheap. It could be worse. You will however build up some heat under this headset. The ear pads are removable and so you could replace them if you found compatible ones. This would change the sound stage however, but probably make them a lot more comfortable. You have very hard to see L and R letters to indicate the left and right ear cups, with Letton in blue written on the right side and Model G5 written on the mic on the left side. The microphone has what appears to be 160 to 170 degrees of rotation, but does not rotate all the way back, so it is not reversible. There's also no mic mute switch, which can be very, very annoying for console play. There's a, volume there's a volume knob in line on the cable, which is decent, but not great by any means. The cable is decently flexible though. As usual, I would prefer a suspension style headset, but they do offer that in their G3 headset, so maybe that could be a, a good alternative too. I do believe it's cheaper than this G5. Speaking of price, did I mention this headset was only $18? It's not bad. Not bad at all. So for that price, how do they sound? Well, about as you might expect for under 20 bucks. But they do surprise me in some ways. These are closed back headphones with a very up close sound stage. So for noise isolation, they are actually really, really good when the volume is high. Even with my super loud air conditioning on, the dishwasher going, etc., I pretty much only hear my game. However, channel separation is really, really bad. It's not super noticeable other than for specific tests, but I ran it through my Adobe Audition 5.1 channel audio test, and the left and right channels were just not separate at all. Rear left and rear light, rear right, not rear light, were perfectly separated, however, and rear center sounded like it was up front center. So don't expect this to be the most epic positioning sounding headset you've ever used, or even good for that in the slightest. The audio from this headset isn't super clear and it definitely feels muddy at times. This isn't helped by the fact that there is virtually no detail in the high end. Very disappointing. For music, if I turn on an EQ for the Rock EQ preset in iTunes for example, it sounds pretty decent, but with the EQ off it just sounds really bad. I noticed something weird with music in this headset. With general music, rock, electronic dubstep stuff, the kind of stuff I listen to that you don't get a lot of high-end focus at one, you know, at one time, you don't get any high-end detail. But for music that's purely focused on the high-end, like K-pop, you hear a lot more of it. There's a lot less mudding with that kind of music. I tested out the console capabilities with the PS4 by plugging it into the PS4 controller. While other headsets like the SteelSeries Siberia 200 play great with the controller, this one does not get loud at all which is odd since the G5's impedance is half that of the Siberia 200. The sound on the PS4 was super muffled sounding and up close sound stage means directional positioning is downright impossible. This is a microphone test using the Afunta G5 or Model G5 Leton gaming headset microphone. This is a test, 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 one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three. This is a microphone test using the Afunta G5 or Model G5 
Leton gaming headset microphone. This is a test, 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 one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three. So this, in a nutshell, is the Model G5 gaming headset from Afunta, or Leton. I'm not really sure where the Leton came from, but it's on the side of the headset. It doesn't sound great, but it costs next to nothing and is better than no headset at all. Since it's so lightweight, it stays fairly comfortable during long gaming sessions, despite being a solid band headset. Thanks so much for watching my review of the Afunta or Leton G5 gaming headset. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment saying whether or not you want to you would use an $18 headset. Also check out links in the description below for my Twitter, Instagram, Patreon campaign, things like that, and I will see you next time.